Madam Speaker, I'm, I'm a member of the appointment committee that vetted the, the nominees, Madam Speaker, and we had uh, taken a lot of our time to make sure that, Madam Speaker, we look into this matter in a very, very, very into a very good perspective, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, why we were doing that is because this, this is the highest decision organ uh, making decision making organ of the country, Madam Speaker, the Cabinet of the Republic of Kenya. Madam Speaker, if I may take my give my views on what I what was presented before the committee, Madam Speaker, and in accordance with the report that we have made as a committee, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, the constitution is very clear. The constitution says that this country, when appointments are made, we must look into issues of regional balance, we must look issue into ethnic balance, and we must look into issues that can have, can bring cohesion in this country, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, if you look at this appointment of these ministers, Madam Speaker, we have a cabinet now consisting of 24 members, Madam Speaker. 24 members. And if you look at the composition of this cabinet, Madam Speaker, of these 24, the region where the president comes from, Madam Speaker, five, four ministers come from there. Including the president, there are five in the cabinet. The region where the deputy president comes from have eight ministers, Madam Speaker, including him, there are nine. If you put nine plus five, there are 14. And the total number is 24. All the other parts of the country has only 10 cabinet ministers, Madam Speaker. Ambayo wametupiwa kama kuku na tupiwa mahindi, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, this is when will Aturkana be a minister in this country? When will Borana be a minister in this country, Madam Speaker? When will Akuria be a minister in this country, Madam Speaker? If every election, year in and a court, year in, year out, we have the president's region having five ministers, the deputy president ministers having nine ministers, out on 24 ministers, you are 14, the other part of the country are 10. Madam Speaker, if that is not unfair, what do you call unfairness, Madam Speaker? This must stop, Madam Speaker. This is unconstitutional, Madam Speaker. This is an affront to the constitution of this country, Madam Speaker. That is why the, the constitution speaks to the issue of regional balance, ethnic balance, and cohesion of this country, Madam Speaker. First, Madam Speaker, on that note, this appointment lacks the constitutional merit that it requires for it to govern this country, Madam Speaker. Secondly, Madam Speaker, we have vetted the members. Some of them are distinguished, outstanding members, Madam Speaker, and I agree with the committee that some of them merit to be cabinet ministers and they have, they have qualified and passed the standards that we were looking for as a committee. But a few of them, Madam Speaker, as we have noted in our minority report, are substandard, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, when you are talking about the cabinet of the Republic of Kenya, and you want to have a cabinet minister seated there, who has a live case in court, not a, a capital offense, Madam Speaker, of murder, Madam Speaker, how do you want this house to approve that, Madam Speaker, unless we have lost our head, Madam Speaker? Madam Speaker, it is very clear it is very important for the image of this country, Madam Speaker, for that nominee to step aside, go and clear her cases in court. Once we, she has finished 